Hey, what's up? It's German. Hey, it's German. Uh, I'm going to go over right now a couple of objections that I'm seeing as a real estate agent now, and this time it's November. A couple of them are uh, that people want to wait till after the holidays, that they're remodeling their homes, and that they have to talk to their spouse. These are ones that I typically am hearing, and especially throughout this time of year, I'm hearing a lot of. What I've realized is, and how to overcome them, is that these are just smoke screens. And what I mean by that is that once I overcome it or I handle it or I, I handle this objection, they're just going to throw out another one. And we have to really be able to find what the real objection is. And what I've realized is what the real objection is, they just want to make the most money possible. If they're remodeling their house, they want to get the most money because they're remodeling. If they want to wait till later, they just don't believe that they can actually get the most money right now. And if they have to talk to their spouse, what I've just seen is, their spouse really is just the one that handles the finances and that they don't want to take control of losing that relationship money. So how do we find the real objection? You know, I've realized it's just by asking the right questions. So let's just say, and let's just role play a little bit. Let's just say that somebody tells me, oh, I just want to wait till after the holidays. I'll ask them, okay, well, why do you want to wait till after the holidays? What's the major drawback from having to wait rather than selling now? Oh, well, I, I want to get the most money out of my house. Okay, so you're just wanting to get the most money out of the sale of your property, correct? Yes, absolutely. Okay, well, let me ask you this, and then that's when I go into my magic question. I'll ask them, what if you knew 100% that by working with me, you could absolutely know for certain you're going to sell your house and get significantly more money, bottom line, than you could get any other way? That's with or without an agent. Now, I know that's a crazy promise, but if you knew that were true, would you even be interested in hearing more about it? And what I want to make sure I get is a yes. Not their story. I'd rather, want, I'd rather get a yes, but I'd rather get a yes or a no because that solidifies that that's what they want is they want to get more money out of the house. Once I figure that out, it's, okay, I have this objection. Now I know what it is. Great. These are my ways to be able to overcome them. And what I've realized is that the difference with sales in real estate and sales in anything else, and I've done phone and or door sales, is that we, are, we have to find the motivation. We have to be able to create and master a relationship over a longer period of time. And I'm talking about three to four months, maybe even longer, uh, compared to you know in phone sales or door to door sales, where it can be a couple of days to a couple of weeks. And these, these are just my experiences that I've realized on being able to grow and master these relationships to be able to overcome these objections.